Hey everyone, I just wanted to tell everyone that's watching. If you are just starting out on Rolex Studio or you're a beginner, I suggest you go watch a few tools on GYs before starting out on this video. If you know a bit on GYs and know how to move and scale them, and you know the basics of Studio, we can begin. First off, open an empty base plate and we will begin. Make sure to get the model from the description, it's completely free to use and edit. If you find any bugs or issues, contact me on my Discord server, our developer. A link is on screen and in the description. With that being said, let's get started. Inside Studio, we get the view of an Explorer Properties and Toolbox. Inside Toolbox, go to Inventory, My Models, and then insert the GUI. Once you've inserted the GUI, we'll click on the arrow right here, open V2, insert phone into start GUI, and insert the stuff inside of V2 into Workspace. Now, these two scripts, you can read these if you want. If you need some help and you get stuck, there should be some stuff on there that help you. And in this script right here, this is just other stuff, you can read that if you want. Now, you can't really see anything here, so what we'll do is we click on the GUI and enable the equals true. Now, as you can see, it's visible, but we can't really see anything. So, we'll put some buttons there. We're going to mess with the default presets first, and then we'll move on to some custom presets. Now, inside here, go to the default preset, apps, and then select the apps. We'll put this in star GUI for now, but open the GUI, main outline, outline, screen, home wallpaper, and apps. Drag the apps inside of here, and open the home, and then apps. And drag these buttons right here, inside of apps. Then, this should be all here. You can reorganize them by just dragging them all out for now. So I'll just do that now. Once you're done, we'll get on to editing the apps. Scroll up, and then we'll start with credits. Scroll down, visible equals true. Then you got this here. Open it up, open app frame, then frame, and then you got this. Now once you've got this open, open config. Then local ID on line 2, change these numbers to your player ID. Once you got your ID, just paste it in, I'll go paste it in my right here. And once you're done, go to info, scroll down properties, text, and then you can enter some information on made. So after that, you're basically done on credits, but if you want to add another credit, click on this frame right here. Duplicate, but you can just go and click on the frame, position, Y, and change this to 0.5. And you can put in the go into the config script and then just change it. Other than that, just click on credits, scroll down, visible equals false. Now inside of info, just click on info, visible equals true. Open the app frame. Now you can just put whatever you want in here. It's just a default text for now, but you can put anything you want in here. So it's yours to customize. So we can just add like a frame or something. I'll add a frame. And once it's done, you can edit text if you want. You can edit the text if you want, but it's all up to you. So once you're done, you can go over to info, click on that, visible, false. Then we can go to shop, visible, true, open it up, app frame, passes, scrolling frame, frame. And you got the description of all of this. Go to the button, text button, cell script, change 000 to the game pass ID. Now if you want to use a developer product, change prompt game pass purchase to prompt product purchase. And just click on this, write, write a game pass name, you can put like. If you want to add another one, click on the frame and then duplicate it. And then just do the exact same thing that we just did. And once you're done, go to sharp, then invisible, false. Update, you can go to visible, open it up, app frame. But there's nothing here right now, so what we'll do is go into content editor. Open it up, so content amount is the amount of new content you've added, so for free. So we got over here. So these lines right here, these are the only ones that are going to show that inside of content. This is like free, but if you select five, then it would be five content instead of free content. That's basically what it is. So you can do like. Once you're done, go back to the gate. And you can once you're done, you can close out. Update visible false. Now if you want to change the wallpaper, there's two versions of the wallpaper that you can choose. So you got the home wallpaper, which is the one you're seeing right now. Then the lock wall, lock screen wallpaper, because you'll have a lock screen when you start in the phone. So to change the wallpaper on the phone, just scroll down on the home wallpaper. And just scroll down to image, change the image ID. It's the same for lock wallpaper. The thing I recommend is don't use like don't use like a lot a lot of colors in your wallpaper. 
I recommend just using a single color, but you can choose whatever you want. Now, if you open this, you open wall wallpaper color, you'll see these two lines right here. What you need to do is, so if, if the wallpaper is light, then enable light, set light to true. But if the wallpaper is quite dark, then set dark to true. You need to do that, otherwise it will be impossible to see anything on the phone. Now if we go to the top, we can go to the data provider. So you can change the type of data provider that you have. So like, instead of data, we could put like, I don't know, put anything. I'll just give you his data. Now, once you've done that, we can go to startup, scroll down, visible, true, and then we can go to the image label. This image label is going to show up, it's like a little icon, so you can change the icon to whatever you want. It'll just be the icon that displays in the phone and startup. So I got my ID, so I'll paste the ID here. Then once it's done, when you're done, scroll down, visible, false, then phone, scroll down, enabled, false. Then we can play test. You do the games, click this bar right here. And then once you start up, you'll see this, at our data provider right here. And then we got the time, in-game time, not real time. So here we got the swipe to open, so we'll just move our mouse inside here and swipe. Then we got our home screen. Then we got settings, everything is on here. So we can change like the shadows, diffuse, reflections, FOV. You can set our FOV on 20 or we'll just set as well to 70. Next it out, credits, got our credits, info. Got some info on the game, enter some content because I didn't enter anything. Updates, got the auto update log, this phone, bug fixes a new map. I selected three options, so that works. And shop, inside the shop, we got our golden sword. You can click on this button and you can buy the game pack. Then to close the GUI, click on the power button right there. And click here, here, let's put it back up. Now let's go on and add some custom apps. Click on the screen GUI, scroll down, enable true. So if you already inserted some of the presets, you can delete them, but you don't have to. I'm going to keep them in for now. Now we'll lose scroll down, go to custom preset, apps, then insert this frame into apps. Buttons, app, scroll down, and put it into apps. If you don't know where this is and you just skipped here, just do this. So open the phone, open outline, open screen, open the home wallpaper, open apps, and open home and open apps inside of home. Now once you've done that, we can go to app. This is our custom app, so we open it up, go to app frame, so you can put whatever you want in here. So, I'll delete that. We can put whatever you want here, so you can pick what you want to put in. What I'll put in is a sort of mp3 player. Now, I'm finished. So, once you're done, I got my little mp3 player here, or music player. So what we can do is, we can name the app. I'm going to name the app music player. So then we scroll down, visible equals false. Then scroll down, go to app. Got our app here, I'll name this music player as well. This is just going to be, just name the button the same name as your app. Go to the app button, script local script. And local app equals app stream .app name. So instead, change the app name to the name of the app you just made. So mine is Music Player. Then that's all you need to do. Now, if you want to add an extra button, just duplicate this button. Duplicate. And then you can just duplicate the other frame. And then just edit it. But I'm not going to do that. So you can change the app name right here as well. I forgot to mention. Then to change the app icon, click on this. And then you can just get the image ID. I got the image ID for mine, so I'll just paste it in. Now once you're done, we can play test. Swipe it to open, so we'll just swipe our mouse up. Then we got our apps, settings, credits, info, updates, shop. And then we got music player, which is the app we just made. So we can put in our, our music ID and just click play. I won't be including this inside the pre inside the presets. You can make your own UI since well, you got the base, you can finish everything out. I gave you the basics, and you can make your own, just to fit your game. Then, just close the UI, click the power button, and then, you're done. I've been updating this frequently, so you might see an update video later on. I'll link it in the description if it's out. So, thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.